let's move on to the hips the hip rafters the hip rafters they are measured from the roof plan because now we have the length of the rafters and we have half the span of the uh, tile beam and we know that from where we have the ridge board the last rafters they are there the, 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 the ones that are on the ends they are where the ridge board starts where we have the triangle uh, and we have the hip rafters from where the triangle starts to the edge of the house if we draw a straight line it will take half the span of the tie beam now that we know that it will take half the span of the tie beam the half span of the tie beam will form a right angled triangle with the rafter as its height and the hip rafter as the hypotenuse so how do we calculate the length of the hypotenuse when we have the uh, height and the base of the triangle so we shall take the height of the triangle is the length of the rafter that is 35 85 then the base of the triangle will be half the span of the tie beam which is 2800 plus 200 plus 300 because the hip rafters are going up to the eaves so if the base of the triangle is 300 we can use pythagoras theorem to 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 get the hypotenuse c squared equals a squared plus b squared a squared is that 585 squared plus that is 300 squared with square root to get the uh, hip length and the hip length shall be 4.73 4.873 meters so when we are filling it in we shall check we have four hip rafters which measures 4.87 100 by 50 millimeters rafters.